officers uh, have been suspended. Two of them are sheriff deputies, and uh, the other is a local police officer. Uh, all three of them have been suspended. We also have information on the suspect uh, that was arrested after this. Um, he's been identified as Randall Ray uh, Worcester. He's uh, being charged with seven different things, including battery and resisting arrest. Um, we have heard also from local authorities, the mayor and the sheriff, uh, both saying that this is under investigation. The mayor saying uh, he was shocked and sickened. Meanwhile, the sheriff said he condemns all violence against anyone that is detained by police. So we'll wait for more details as this investigation continues. We previously covered the story back in August 2022, where Crawford County Sheriff's Deputy Zach King and Levi White with Mulberry Police Officer Thel Riddle were recorded by a bystander violently assaulting and beating Randall Worcester at a gas station while arresting Worcester. <laughs> Since the incident, we have learned that none of the officers were wearing body cams, so this is the best look we'll have at it. But we do have some updates to share about this case and how things are progressing. Following his arrest, Worcester filed a lawsuit against the local police department and the Crawford County Sheriff's Department, accusing the officers of violating his rights. Any reasonable law enforcement officer should have known that his conduct violated clearly established federal law and was a direct violation of the Fourth Amendment to the Constitution, the lawsuit would state. Worcester is seeking compensatory and punitive damages, as well as money for medical bills, lost wages, and attorney's fees and costs. Carrie Jernigan and David Powell, his attorneys, previously told NBC News his right ear was swollen and purple, he complained of pain in his head, and he had abrasions to his knees after the incident. At one point during the encounter, his eye was gouged, Powell said. Lots of things happened to him that should not have happened. While this civil lawsuit is still ongoing, two of the officers involved may actually pay for their actions for once. As now former deputies King and White are being charged with civil rights offenses, according to a recent decision for federal prosecutors, White 32, King 27, were arrested on January 24th after they were indicted on one count each of deprivation of rights under color of law. According to court documents, both White and King pled not guilty. According to those court records, they are free on bond. The allegations in the indictment are not true, and we will prove this at trial, their attorney Russell Wood said via email. The federal criminal indictment alleges that White and King deprived Worcester of his rights to be free from unreasonable force by law enforcement and that each deputy struck him multiple times while he was on the ground. The charge carries a max of 10 years in prison. As for the third officer involved, Mulberry PD's Thel Riddle was not named in the Justice Department announcement about charges. He has been underpaid administrative leave during an investigation. Mulberry's police chief didn't immediately respond to a request for comment as of the announcement of the federal charges against the sheriff's deputies, and we will keep you updated on if these officers will be held legally liable for brutalizing this citizen.